Another topic that gets brought up loads with newborn photography is lighting. What light do you recommend? What light source do you use? Natural, continuous, flash. Does flash bother newborns? Um, I have tried all of those and the one that I fall back on every time is my flashlight. I think if you're working in the UK, those of you who are UK people, our weather like today, you can't see but it's wet and drizzly outside it can be really grey and dark a lot of the year so you're making life quite hard for yourself and although I could whack my eyes so every time the sun comes in and out I'm having to change my white balance and I like to batch edit my images to start with it makes it much quicker and easier so if I can use a flashlight um, or the same with the continuous you can set your exposure and your white balance and know it's consistent throughout your shoot so that's what I like to do um, I've never found a flash bothers a newborn and I have had a chat with some neonatal specialists who said that it should be absolutely fine on any babies. You use a very low powered light. Um, the lights I personally use are Elinchrom, either the ELCs or the d -like ones, both of which go down to about 6 watt power, so it's really, really low. And the light is in a softbox, so it's diffused a few times. So by the time it comes out the light source, I then use the soft feathered edge. It's an incredibly low soft light that we're after, so it doesn't seem to bother babies. Um, with soft boxes, to some extent, the bigger the modifier, the better, but I also like to maintain control of it. So um, some newborn photographers like using really large umbrellas or PLMs, and I prefer a soft box because I like to know where my edge is so I can feather the light. To, if I'm using an artificial backdrop, I want to avoid glare on the, on the floor and on the backdrop too much so you can angle it more and use the feathered light easier, I feel, with a soft box. Um, and size-wise, I would probably say nothing smaller than one meter square. So you can go as big as you like beyond that, but I think beyond a meter square, it's hard to get a really soft, creamy light, because as you pull the light back for the spread, you're going to get a more contrasty fall off. So my advice for a complete beginner who's on a budget would be a D-Light 1 with a 135 Octobox or a one meter square softbox. And if you've got a bigger budget, um, I would go for the ELCs because you can, um, the recycle time is so fast you can shoot really rapidly. But there's loads of other makes out there as well. What you need to consider is the light that goes in the lowest power you can find for newborn photography.